the return pump, the aquarium's chosen mode of water transport, this often overlooked piece of equipment is the heart of your aquarium. Should it fail, the inhabitants may not survive. Hold up. Do you always have to be so dramatic? It's just a return pump. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Remy and I am a reef hobbyist and I love making videos. So if you marry the two, well, then you get the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. Remember, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I make new videos. All right, well, we all know why we're here. Let's unbox and install this return pump. So this is the Hydor Seltz D500. This is the smallest pump in the line of these pumps, these DC pumps. It's controllable, so you can go up, down, whatever you wanna do, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to hang any wave makers off the side of my lagoon tank. Now, that has yet to be seen. We might need one for the back just to get some flow along that back panel. However, at this point, so far so good. Now, a lot of times when you get an all-in-one tank, in this case, the Innovative Marine 25 Lagoon, you get a stock pump. Now, this is the Innovative Marine 211 gallons per hour pump. It's 11 watts. It does the job, right? It circulates the water as you need it to do in the tank, but it just isn't the best. I'd say. So that's when you get into pumps like the Hydor Seltz D500. Now you don't have a lot of room when it comes to installing this pump in the back of the all-in-one. Now thankfully it does fit in the back of this tank. Some of the specs are, it's a DC pump, which means it's controllable. And what's nice about that is when you wanna feed the tank, you can just pause the pump and you're good to go. It's 16 watts and it delivers 6.2 feet of head height. So in the box you get the pump, the controller, this uh, mount, which has four rubber feet on it, which makes it super quiet. Some barb connectors, the power supply, and a filter guard for the front of it. When you've got a smaller tank like this, it really isn't a big cost to upgrade the stock pump that comes with it. In this case, the Seltz D500 is about $107 right now on most of the main websites like Bulk Reef Supply, Marine Depot, saltwateraquarium.com. It's pretty uniform across the board. But the nice thing is if, if you wanna get a larger pump, the largest one in the Hydor line is $235. So when you're comparing that to competitors, it really comes in at an affordable price to get the job done. Now in this case, I was able to just put the same connections that came on the stock pump on the high door, which is really convenient and really nice. Now I might have to cut some of these hoses a little bit because the high door is a little bit taller than the stock pump, but for now, this works great and my corals are loving the extra flow. If you've got a Seltz D pump in your tank, go ahead and leave feedback below, comment. Do you like it? Is it virtually silent, as they say? Do you enjoy the pump? Does it give that flow that you need in your tank? I think for the price and what you get, it's definitely a great pump to have in your tank. Hydor really nailed it with this one because in the nano reef tank space, there's not a whole lot of controllable pumps. So this is fantastic because it gives you that great amount of flow that you can raise or lower, and you can also pause it for feed mode, which is about five minutes. It's just fantastic. Thank you so much for checking out another episode of The Llama's Loot. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification, more videos to come. In the meantime, go. Watch some more videos. Here they are.